Welcome people, we are back to Jasper Active Excel Lesson 5, and we are all the way down to uh, exercise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exercise 7, page setup options. Here we go. Buckle up, we're in for a ride. Here we go, it says on the page layout tab, you are going to change the orientation to landscape. All right, and on the page setup group next to size, we're going to change to legal, which is eight and a half by 14. So different size paper. Now in the file tab, you are going to go file print, and let's see, this is the eight and a half by 14 paper. We can see it is a little bit wider. And use the next and previous buttons. Let me get this out of the way. So you can see what it will print out like. So we have some wasted blank space in some of this. So um, next, click the back button. And now, where it says width in the page layout group, width is automatic, height is automatic, scale is 100%. Let's change the width to one page. Now, file print. Let's see what that does. And notice, when we do next and previous, we're down to four pages, but that's a really small font. So we may need to make some adjustments to it. Next, now we're gonna modify options from this backstage view. So we're already in the backstage view in printer. Now we're going to say, fit all columns on one. Let's see. Office backstage, click fit all columns on one page. All right. So show me where that is. Print. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. No. Print both sides. Fit page. Flip pages on long edge. Both sides. There we go. I found it. This seems new to my brain. It says uh, fit all columns on one page. Got it. Now. Change to portrait orientation. Okay. Then, oh, uh, let's see, portrait. Wow, we're down to two pages, and if everybody carries a magnifying glass, they could read that. However, let's go back to where it says fit all columns on one page, and we're going to do custom scaling options. And here, we are going to, on the page tab, we are going to click adjust to, change that number from 39 to 65. So 65% and click OK. Notice now, we've increased the number of pages. However, it's a little easier to read. Still not the best use, so we might need to Let's zoom to page and see, is that actually something we can read? Possibly. Now click zoom to page again to zoom out. And next, step number four. Let's adjust the margins. So click show margins in the lower right corner. So right down here, show the margins. And Let's adjust our margins over here to narrow. Okay. If you print the worksheet, it will appear cramped. And there's a whole lot of white space over there with these narrow margins. Next. Now click show margins again. To turn that off. Click custom scaling and say no scaling. Uh, change 
legal to letter and narrow margins back to normal. Okay, I think we got all those next. Specify print headings, click the back button. In the back button, in the page layout tab, what we're going to select is click the options for print on the checkbox for uh, sheet options under headings. So we're gonna print headings right here. You can see that check. Now, go to File and Print, and let's see how that changes it. Notice now our columns and rows, column headers and row headers, are looking as though they will print. So enter one in both the text boxes for pages what to what. So one to one. And verify only one page is showing. One to one. I did not mean to print. We'll see what happens there. File, print, one to one. And it says verify only one page is showing in the print preview area. Oh, go back to Office Backstage to print. Print there, one to one. Still seeing all the pages. Interesting. Okay, we'll see if we get our 100%. On the page layout tab, in the sheet options group, click print. Okay, so we go back and uncheck print headings to turn it off. I think that is it. Let's submit it and see what happens. 100%. All right. Way to go, people. We did it again. Stay tuned.